Uh, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, well, we have another question coming in on YouTube. Uh, currently have a primary site with server 2012 R2 and uh, SQL 2016 with DPs mixed 2012 R2 and 2016. How easy is it to in-place upgrade a primary site OS and SQL? Any particular order or gotchas or advice? Uh, I could well, think of one specific blog post we might point to. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Jason's blog post in, in particular. Um, so uh, if it's easy to do an in-place upgrade, well, it's also easy to book a root canal at the dentist. <laughs> that doesn't mean that it's, it's the you know, best experience that you might have. Uh, I typically don't recommend in-place upgrades. Uh, I prefer to do a backup and restore to get a clean up pristine system. So rather than upgrading maybe multiple Windows version up to 2019, 2022, etc., I prefer to do a backup, set up a new VM, same name, the similar disk layout, doesn't have to be exact same disk layout, and restore the backup to that VM. That process typically set you, uh, it takes about two days to get it done. And you can expect downtime from uh, the evening, the day before, until maybe lunch the following day to get everything going. But the actual backup restore process is quite quickly. It's usually if you have to copy very content that not, that can take some time uh, in the environments. So I usually tell customers that yeah, the system is going to be down for about 12 hours here at least. So um, sometimes 18 hours. The post that we refer to is uh, this one here. Uh, and Jason really needs to fix the certificates. Uh, I mailed him about it, and he says he will, so we'll see. <laughs> Anyhow, if you search his blog for a recovery, uh, this is a classic post on how to do a backup or restore with the purpose of basically upgrading the uh, old OS that is on the machine. Uh, the only thing I mentioned this before as well here, uh, Jason recommends to remove the following roles uh, before doing the upgrade. Uh, I don't agree with that one. It's not needed. I can perfectly um, still be there if you have it on the side server. Uh, most organizations don't, so that, there is that. But there are some smaller environments where you actually have the site server being pretty much everything. Um, <laughs> software output point, management point, distribution point, and uh, yeah, that's that's my take on that one. And we will, of course, share these links as usual. Um, for those of you who are new to the platform or new to our office hours, we do share these links. Um, up in the academy and we also share them on our youtube channel so fire monstra online academy by all means while you're there uh, subscribe and like the post would be mean a lot to us and uh, this is where of course you can find all the recordings as well <laughs>